knowing about that hardship clause that I want to share with everybody. The other thing is, is kind of a, a planning uh, step. Planning, if you right now are considering, maybe you have your house on the market and you're using a uh, rental option as a backup plan, uh, check with your association now. Uh, you can get on the list. Maybe you can get in on the list to be able to rent it now, uh, even though you might not use it for a few months. And uh, that way in a few months, uh, a whole bunch of other people do not get in line in front of you. So um, the, the planning pro uh, can be crucial here for you to be able to successfully rent your place uh, versus association telling you not to. Mark, a lot of times it's because of the lenders that are out there that don't want the association to be filled with uh, renters and stuff. And there's certain uh, FHA rules and stuff like that that will limit. So, the, so it's not just the associations being bad guys, but at the same time, they've got these rules that some lenders have put in place that kind of puts, puts them And around. this is Kim Denkwalter, the premier real estate attorney. Yeah, so it just, uh, that becomes kind of a problem because you've got like Big Brother out there saying, oh, you can't have more than X number. But hopefully everything's, they get the hardship. Everything's been changing so much with lending requirements, so I didn't want to drop the percentage, but is do you know offhand as far as the Fannie Mae, uh, Freddie guidelines? I think 25 is the absolute max. I okay. think that's why most of them go for 20. Okay. All right. Um, I knew, uh, so, and in, in how that, for the audience, the ability to get Fannie or Freddie Mae financing could be limited if uh, a particular association exceeds their limit. Right. 